This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, today I wanted to show off some action figures of one of my favorite comic book villains of all time, Venom. So when I say I'm a big fan of Venom, what I really mean is I'm a big fan of the original incarnation of Venom as he was created by Todd McFarlane. Um, I love the way the character started out. I loved the way Todd McFarlane drew him. He was just like this giant, nasty, great white shark hiding in the shadows killing machine that was intent on killing Spider-Man. He was like the perfect Spider-Man villain. Um, he looked amazing. He had these big sharp teeth, these great big eyes. Um, it was really cool. It was really neat artwork. Um, after Todd McFarlane, I hated what they did to the character. Didn't really like other artists' interpretation of Venom. They started drawing him with this giant nine foot long tongue covered in snot. It was just ridiculous looking. His teeth were all crooked, looked like he was trying to eat a apple through a picket fence. Like his teeth were just all over the place. Um, and then Marvel did this incredibly stupid thing they always seem to do. They've been doing this dumb trick for decades now. Um, whenever they have a really popular villain in the comic books, uh, they freak out and they're like, well, we can't have people liking a villain. And they turn that character into an anti-hero, basically betraying everything that people fell in love with the character for in the first place. Um, yeah, turning Venom into like this protector of the innocent bullshit. Fuck that. That's what we have Spider-Man for. That's what you have Batman for. They protect the innocent. When I want Venom, I want a giant monster killing machine. That's it. Venom is this beautiful hybrid of a living symbiote alien costume and a madman who is dead set on killing Peter Parker. Same as the symbiote costume. It wants to kill Spider-Man. It wants to get revenge and kill Spider-Man. So when you put the two of them together, they are of one mind. They are focused on killing Spider-Man. Not protecting the innocent. Ugh, I hate that so much. Anyway, all the, all the Venom figures that I'm going to show you guys today, they basically have that Todd McFarlane look to them or I have converted them to basically look more like that style of Venom that I like. If they've had those giant tongues, I've either cut the tongues out or or um, carved them down so they're more manageable. They don't look like this giant thing hanging out of his mouth, which would make it impossible for him to bite anything, let alone talk, chew, or swallow without biting off four feet of his own tongue. It's ridiculous looking. Anyway, you don't fuck with perfection, and that's what this Venom was. Um, this Venom that you're looking at right now, this is my favorite Venom action figure that I own. It is a beast. It stands 15 inches tall, and it was made by Toy Biz way back in the day. Um, I painted the mouth. I painted the mouth red, and I added um, like comic book lines to some of the teeth to sort of give it a comic book look. Um, this toy is huge. It is just a big old chunk of vinyl. Um, a really fun action figure. This is how the head originally came. Um, they just sort of sprayed the mouth white and <laughs> missed a whole bunch of the teeth, but they called it a day. And I wanted mine to look more comic booky and like i said he stands 15 inches tall and it is just a giant giant uh figure look at his back god damn he's huge anyway that is my favorite venom action figure the most Todd McFarlane accurate Venom figure, though, is the next one. 
this and and the reason why it's the most accurate is because it is it was sculpted by the incredibly uber talented Jean St. Jean. Um so when when McFarland first drew Venom um he had these long uh teeth they weren't quite fangs yet but they were headed that way like two issues later they were fangs but when in that first appearance first incarnation they were like these long nasty not quite human teeth they were sort of fangs but but not not so pointy as they later became and Jean St. Jean captured that perfectly. Everything from the smile to the eyes to the furrows in the brow, everything looks the way McFarlane drew Venom. I almost said Spawn. Um, another McFarlane creation with the living costume. Something about those living costumes I think is just cool. Uh, Venom, Spawn, and the Giver, all three of them have living costumes, a, a symbiotic relationship with the owner, with the guy that dons the costume. I just find that concept really cool, really neat. Um, this came out from Diamond Select. Also came with a different head, so I bought another one to display the other head. Um, this one, of course, has the longer fangs. This is about when I started giving up on Venom. Um, I think this is right before they started making him just stupid looking. But I liked this head sculpt. And you can never own enough Jean St. Jean action figures, so I got another one. Uh, Jean St. Jean is the, um, the inventor, the sculptor of the creature replica figures I showed you guys. He is amazingly talented. He is my favorite sculptor in the action figure world. Um, guaranteed, if you if you uh, collect action figures, you've got some of his stuff in your collection right now, whether you know it or, or not. The guy has worked for all the major companies. He's super talented. So going from a really incredible figure to a uh, just this kind of all right figure, this is um, Venom from Revel Tech, and. This thing is a fidgety mess of a toy. It's... Yeah, he had the giant stupid tongue and I, I popped it out. It, looks, it looked stupid. Um, you can get these Revel Tech figures into really cool poses, but they are, they are very um, fidgety. Revel Tech joints are known to be fidgety. You just gotta you gotta monkey with it just to get it into the right position. And then and then when you do, they have these incredible poses they'll hold. But god damn, look look how gappy that is right there in the torso. Um, I don't really like to monkey with my action figures for 45 minutes just to get them in a pose. Um I did buy this figure because the promotional pictures looked pretty awesome. Um, would I buy it again today? No. He's he's neat looking, but you can't really do a whole hell of a lot with him, like I said, without it involving uh, basically taking a tutorial <laughs> on how to pose these things. and uh, It's just frustrating. I don't like my, my toys or my models to be frustrating. Like, it's, it's my happy place that I go to is collecting monsters. I don't need to have it make me more stressful. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. My allergies are kicking my ass today. Um, I took Thor for a walk outside today, and whatever is growing out in the parking lot just ugh, <laughs> fucked me up. So if you hear me sniffling a lot, that's why. Next up are a couple figures from uh, that Venom movie that came out. These are Marvel Legends figures by Hasbro. I 
I was going to wait to do this video because SH Figure Arts has a version of this figure coming out that I have on order, and I was going to wait till it came in to do that video. But I don't think it comes out until the springtime, so I'll just... I'll just do a separate video of him when he comes in. But, um, yeah, this one had an alternate head uh, with an open mouth. It had that, a giant retarded tongue, and I took it out. But I liked both head sculpts, and I wanted to display them both, so... You know, I had to get two. But, you know, I really never buy more than, uh, you know, I really hardly ever buy doubles of the same figure. Oh, I mean, <laughs> what a toy whore. <laughs> um, okay, well, this one's kind of an exception. See, that's that's what I do. That's how I play it off to myself. I'm like, but this one's special. Um, this is the Mofex. Um, Venom, or some people pronounce it Mafex. This is a gorgeous figure. This one really looks like McFarlane, too. The eyes. The beautiful, like, shark teeth. It's got little hints of blue in the paint job. Not a lot of blue, but just the musculature is sort of um, hinted with, with like a deep midnight blue, just shaded in the right spots. And he's super poseable. So, okay, this is how I, <laughs> this is how I told myself I needed three of them. I wanted one. I wanted one. And then I had one on my desk at work. And then because there was another head sculpt, um, I wanted one to display that head also. Um, yeah. So that's how I uh, justified it to myself that I needed, I couldn't live without three of the damn thing. Um, but yeah, here's his alternate head. Gorgeous. Looks very McFarlane-y. Got the sharp teeth, got a tongue in his mouth. It's not protruding 17 feet away from his body. He comes with these alternate um, claw-like hands, open hands. This is a gorgeous figure. You can just pose him in so many different ways. You know, that's what Mofex is is really good for is this is how you make a super posable um action figure not like not like this this is just a fidgety thing that will fall apart if i just move it wrong this is gorgeous and I really love that figure. He came with a, um, let's see, with an Eddie Brock head and um, fist hands, a little um, display base and a bunch of web lines. Like you, it's the total package. It's, it's a great figure. If you guys, um, are in the market for a Venom figure, I would either get this guy or I would get the Diamond Select Gene St. Jean figure. Both of these are still available. Um, Diamond Select keeps um, putting out this Venom figure of Jeans, and I believe this Mofex one is still available. If not, I 
thought I read that they were going to come out with a second wave of him. So either one of those is something I would get if I were you. And I wanted to get like an end-all, be-all Venom. Um, this little guy, this is uh, Toy Biz from a million years ago, back in the 90s. I don't know what year this is from. But... Um, Oh, you know what? I Frankensteined this thing. This is a custom. Okay, so I think, um, sorry guys, I'm having to think from a long time back. I think this Venom came with just an Eddie Brock head. And I think this head came from a different Venom figure. And, um, yeah, I can see the, uh, the, um, two-part epoxy putty that I put down there to hold it on. So I made this one. Um, I don't remember which Venom this head came from. They also had a clear version of this figure. Um, but yeah, it looks like I Frankensteined that one together. Uh, these next couple figures, I think that I did a lot of Frankensteining. I did customizing on these figures. This is a Diamond Select uh, Venom. I don't know which comic book this one came from, but there's no Spider logo on him. It might have been like Spider-Man Ultimates or Venom Ultimates or something like that. Um, I chopped out the giant tongue and I... I um, I made a new tongue out of two-part epoxy and painted it, painted the inside of the mouth. This Venom's got all these crazy tendrils growing out of him. He's pretty neat looking. Although I do miss the spider emblem on him. This one is one of my first custom figures. Um, okay, what did I do? This Venom had, it was from a Venom storyline where I think the comic was drawn by Kelly Jones. Um, I know I repainted the mouth. I might have taken out a nasty giant tongue. I might have. Um, I did cut off all the faces. There was there was like a venom head here and here and here and here and here. I I um, cut off all those other heads. There were like arms and heads and all kinds of shit popping out of this venom. Um, that's part of the storyline of the comic. Uh, I wasn't following Venom at that point, but somehow Venom, something happened to him and he sprouted a bunch of heads and arms and shit popping out of him. And uh, when I saw this figure on the shelves at Toys R Us, I was like, ooh, that would be an awesome Venom if only it didn't have all that crap on him. So I bought him and I mean, I can, I can even see my fingerprints in some of these puttied up holes, but... I was just starting out customizing. But he still turned out pretty cool. I like the paint job on the mouth, on the teeth. I think the storyline was called Venom the Madness, I want to say. But I could be full of shit because I wasn't following the comic at that point. But I seem to remember it being called something to do with madness. Um... Next up, this one's cool. This is from Play Arts Kai. This is a super stylized Venom. Um, he, it, he's got a lot of blue and he's hit with these hints of purple. Um, 
the camera kind of makes the purple pop out a lot more than it is in in person. In person, he looks like a lot of uh, dark blues. God damn, this thing is way intricate with the design. I have a couple of Batman figures by these guys, and I've got a Darth Vader, um, a Play Arts Kai Darth Vader, which is really stylized, really gorgeous. Um, I'll have to show that off to you guys. Um, I'm not a huge Play Arts Kai fan. Like it has to, it has to really capture my fancy in order for me to lump down that much money. Uh, they stand about 10 inches tall, 10 to 11 inches tall. They're pretty substantial figures. Um, they have a very distinct style, a very distinct look. Um, and if you don't dig it, you know, there's no point. Um, I mean, just Jesus Christ, look at how... I mean, it... Hmm... And sometimes I think, sometimes I think, God damn, that's just way too flowery. That's just way too, it's too much. But other times it seems to pull it all together. Like when I close my eyes and think of Venom, I definitely don't think of this. But this is a really nice interpretation of it. So, you know, it's okay to like chocolate and vanilla. You don't have to just like one. Is it the venom of is it the venom of my dreams? <laughs> no, but it's an awesome monster action figure. It's a really cool venom. You know, when I close my eyes and think of venom, I think of that giant toy biz one or the the Moff X one or the Gene Saint Gene one. Something along those lines. But this is a really awesome figure to have. Next up is a one sixth figure one sixth scaled figure from spider-man 3 um mm, ba, 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 ba. who the fuck was this metacom this was metacom um yes i chopped the tongue down um i made it to a more manageable tongue size i re-sculpted it and painted it I know that that Spider-Man 3 movie has way too much going on in it. Like, there's it's just a, a shit ton of characters. But it's still a, a pretty fun movie. And I, do, I did like the way Venom looked. I would have liked it better had it just been a Venom and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie without 97 other villains in it. But, you know, whatever. I think that is the only collectible I have from that film. This is the, the only version of this Venom that I have. But that's one six scale. One, one more one six scale figure. Um, again, Metacom. Uh, this face is very Todd McFarlane-ish. I like this one a lot. Now, I think these are... I think this line of 1-6 scaled figures from Metacom, I think these are called the Real Action Hero figures. The R-A-H line. Um, they've got nice sculpts, but they're kind of held together, kind of substandard i'll show you what i mean in a minute great face sculpt looks very mcfarlane-ish what i'm talking about is the hands just pop out ever so easily i've got medical tape wrapped around the uh stem to give it a little more um, 
damn it, focus, to give it a little more, to, to make it hold a little better, to make it a little tighter. Because they just barely go in there and they are, they're, all, they're always loose. And if you turn the figure upside down, the hands can fall out. And I, I never understood that. This is a, a super successful Japanese company, company that knows how to manufacture and design things. But they just never got the hands right. Oh, wait. This one came with this alternate head. <laughs> yeah, this is the Venom that I don't like, guys. Come on. Come on, man. Look at... Look at this ridiculousness. It's just stupid. Looks like something from a Woody Woodpecker cartoon. It's, it's, just, it's stupid. Give me this all day long. Okay, the last two figures that I have are Marvel Legends. Um... This is a Marvel Legends Venom figure. I believe the Amazon exclusive three pack they have coming out in December is again this figure. Um, so I have a custom head that I am working on now that I'm gonna swap out um, just as soon as I get it. Because I believe the one that the one that's coming out is either gonna have this open mouth or it's going to have this closed mouth. And I mean, they look okay, but I've got some cooler custom ones that I would put in. This is a custom one that I, I did. Um, I just liked that this one looked kind of simple and mean and lots of little nasty sharp teeth. Um, I got the head from Casting Cave and painted it and yeah those are marvel legends so that is a look at my venom figures i'm pretty sure that's all of them that i own i might have missed a couple but i'm pretty sure that was it and thank you guys for stopping back by <laughs> that piece of shit um yeah, thanks for stopping back by, guys. Do you guys like Venom? Um, do you guys hate it when they turn villains into good guys? I do. Anyway, thanks for stopping back by, guys, and we will look at some more monsters later, okay? Happy Halloween.